You may not have heard of the Honor brand before. Owned by Huawei but operating independently in the US market, it announced the Honor 5X at CES as a hashtag no-nonsense phone. The Honor 5X has all the major bases of a modern day smartphone covered. A 5.5 inch screen, a fingerprint sensor, and a 3000 mAh battery, all wrapped up in a full metal jacket. All this for just $200. So naturally, we had to see if the Honor 5X was too cheap to be true. There has to be some sort of compromise, right? Stick around to find out. The Honor 5X caught us by surprise when we took it out of the box. It looked nothing like a $200 phone. The metal backside was cool to the touch, and the added weight completely threw us off, as it felt like we were unboxing a much costlier phone. Indeed, the Honor 5X feels premium, but that doesn't help the front, which is quite boring to look at, especially the chin of the phone. The underside features perfectly symmetrical grills. The left one is a mic, and the right one is a loudspeaker, which isn't too loud. Thankfully, we didn't find ourselves accidentally covering the speaker since it was generously long. The 5.5 inch screen is an LCD 1080p IPS display, and Honor used a black frame to surround the display, creating the illusion of thinner bezels. The left side has two SIM trays. One tray houses a nano SIM and a micro SD card, while the other can support a second cellular connection from a micro SIM card. All the physical buttons are on the right side of the device and take after Huawei's layout. It certainly takes some time to get used to the lower power button position. If you do press the volume down key twice though, you can actually wake up the phone, start the camera, and snap a picture all in one go. That's another trademark Huawei feature. The fingerprint sensor is crazy fast. Just place your finger on the sensor and it'll wake the device, bypassing the lock screen completely. The Honor 5X runs Huawei's EMUI layered on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. Honor did promise that it was going to provide regular security patches for Android as well as a major Marshmallow update down the line. EMUI takes a lot of inspiration from iOS. There's no app drawer, and flicking down on the home screen will let you search for an app. There are a bunch of useful features, tricks, and settings like a glove mode, sunlight enhancement, one-handed mode, ultra power save mode, and you can even set a fingerprint to call a contact. Among the 5X's strengths is its battery saving features that are baked into Huawei's EMUI, which let you decide which apps keep running after the screen is turned off. These features, paired with a 3000 mAh battery, give the Honor 5X an overall battery score of 76 hours. The 5X has a 13 megapixel camera and a 5 megapixel front shooter. We took the 5X out to shoot what's left of the blizzard, and upon inspecting the photos closer, it turns out the images are overprocessed, causing a noticeable splotching and noise throughout. Though this should be just fine for regular social media. In terms of performance, the Snapdragon 615 delivers a nice user experience. There's no lag in everyday use, and while it may not provide the best visuals in gaming or the highest frame rates, it's still a decent mid-range chipset and it will run any current game. All things considered, the Honor 5X is a steal at $200, if you don't mind the lack of NFC and the average camera quality. Even with those in mind, you would still be getting a phone with a spacious, great looking display, fast fingerprint sensor, expandable memory, and above average battery life.